Welcome back, Star Wars fans, to the highly anticipated Season 2 finale of The Mandalorian. With Mando having tracked down Grogu's coordinates, we're headed towards an epic showdown. In one corner, we have Moff Gideon. You have something I want. And in the other corner, we have Din Djarin. He means more to me than you will ever know. Who will come out on top? There can only be one winner. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Before we declare the winner, let's roll that intro. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again. Before we get started, make sure you shock that like button. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Good. Right off the bat. Oh, sweet. Ooh, disable. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a cool shot. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, well. Sorry for that. Yeah. Oh. Looks like right by his head. The rescue. Yeah. Or the attempted rescue, anyway. Yeah. I love these shots. Oh man, look at them. It's just like, it's perfect. Two Mandalorians walk in yeah. to a bar. Everyone shits their pants. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Now we see how they deploy them. It's super cool. It's almost yeah. like Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, totally. So I still think they're probably the best troopers. They usually think they actually can fly and, you know, right? Oh, huh. Jeez. That's awesome, eh? Clear the path for Mando. Gideon's gotta know something's up here, though, eh? Got that spear in his back? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's nice. Just combat the Darksaber. <laughs> oh, headshot! <laughs> Just from it. Some super so dumb, eh? Oh, cool. that's a lot. Gideon will be waiting for him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh oh. Would it be a Beskar or what is no, it? No, I don't think so, but just. Oh, oh we beat him. Oh, the space. Oh, nice. But they can fly. Oh, oh that's a vicious death. It's a non Star Wars type of move. No. Oh, there we go. Emperor. Yeah. He knows. Uh, that's gonna save some. I don't know. I feel like he might be somewhat force gifted, hey? Force sensitive, maybe? yeah, or something like that. Like not, not trained by any means, but it's like Mando did all the dirty work. Mm -hmm. What happened? She can't take it. Just to get battle. What do you want? Told you. Right, right, yeah. right. How many we got here? Twenty. Oh, so many. Jedi. Come and help him out? I think. So Jedi comes to his aid, maybe. Is he gonna be talking something, maybe? It's like crazy. From Battlestar Galactica. To, yeah, yeah, yeah to like <clears throat> the Zylons, right? Yeah. yeah. What is X Wing? Is it? Yeah. What? Is it Luke? That's Luke Skywalker. Who has an X Wing? No way. If this is Luke, man. Whoa. It's a Jedi. It's a oh, green saber, man. though. Oh, man. Oh, the belt. Do you it, see the belt? It's, it's totally Luke. The hand on the glove, the glove. Oh, man, it's totally Luke. Like, what other Jedi could do this? It's gotta be Luke. Oh, man. Oh. But he's handling everybody like nothing. Well, and there's only one person that would be like that right now. Oh, oh. But that powerful? Wow. Oh, oh man. Wow. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's unreal. That is awesome. This is music. That's what we gave it. We would have given it away. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. Well, speechless. <laughs> so, um, wow. As you said, off camera. Yeah. Almost like teared up in the eye. That's how I felt the same way. Oh, and, man. and, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah. Elated highs. Oh. Luke Skywalker back. Yeah. I can't. I can't even. I can't even describe. Oh. How how much? Yeah. That meant. And then the uh, whole um, letting the child go. Yeah. And the attachment. And you could just see. I, I knew he was gonna take the helmet off. I could tell yeah. he was gonna take the helmet yeah. off. And it just gave that much more weight. Yeah. And super high and low. <laughs> I wouldn't say low, but just an emotional yeah. roller coaster. Oh, like uh, like I said, you off camera there. I said I was like, I was almost tearing up, but I said like I had the goosebumps when you when you saw something come across, and then like seeing Luke do stuff, and you know, you and I were sitting there thinking like, is it is it him? And, oh no, it's not moving like him. It's not the music. But then you see it, and you're like. Wow, it is Mark Hamill, and then like see, who else is that powerful and then does that? There's, and there's nobody at that time period that's that, that powerful. No, and uh, you know, I think what sums it up for me really is is the fact is that how emotional we are over that seeing Luke Skywalker in his prime battling it out and just like is nothing. It's like uh, it was just unreal. Now you just said it. How emotional we got as Star Wars fans seeing it done right yeah i know that is how you do it yeah and that's how you want to see luke skywalker in your <sighs> and it's all the things you've ever hoped for after return of the jedi you know like i'm gonna be watching that over and over oh. and over and over i was unreal like mark hamill good job for like pretending like you didn't <laughs> you weren't in this like that was oh, that's unreal that's the biggest secret ever that was just oh man that was perfect yeah like... and then r2 comes out that just was, to top it off. I was like the cherry on top. Yeah. Right? It's like, you get CR2. Oh, man. Like, I'm just like, like, I don't even know what to say. All I can say is, oh, Ryan Johnson, that's how it's done. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. Like, so that, that is Luke. And, yeah. Not the uh, bullshit that they gave us yeah. in Last Jedi. That, that's what Star Wars fans want to see. Yeah. So now, now you have that moment where you're like, if you didn't, honestly, it, if you didn't bring Star Wars fans back just because of Mandalorian anyways, you show that, you're getting even even the even the biggest naysayers of like, I hate Star Wars now. That brings you back. I guarantee everybody out there is going fucking nuts. Oh, they're they're it's their own crazy right now. Absolutely nuts. They're yeah. they're loving this. John Favreau, Dave Filoni, oh, thank man. you. Yeah, like kudos to you guys. That was it's unreal. That's I think this is probably one of the best shows I think I've seen in a long, long time. Like I, I still don't even know what to say. Like it's just yeah. it's we're just babbling on about how much we're we're crushing on this. You know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's like it. Yeah. You hit the right uh, chords. It was yeah. it's just. Well, you know what I think. I think what it does, what it sums up for me, is that it brings me back to being that little boy, and well, and like you said, when the ship showed up and you're like, it gave me, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to feel. Yeah. And and I, I couldn't even really say anything at that point. I was kind of like, I was thinking in myself too. I was like, because I could, could feel it going through me. I'm like, uh, I'm kind of feeling goosebumps too. And and it's like, that's what you want to emote from people. Yeah. And like what, when you truly, yeah, you, you truly see an amazing film or an amazing show and it just does those, those things to you. Like, oh, like I just, you want to watch it again. Like, I can't wait to go watch an episode again. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm excited just to, See that part. Once this gets finished uh, and amazing. I have the time, yeah. first thing I'm doing is watching it again. Uh, I, I might even watch it again while I'm doing it just because yeah. just... that was just, that's what I needed. Not, and you know, awesome, awesome ending to the second season. Yeah. And how I said before, like the, the, probably a big payoff, something huge yeah. is going to happen this episode. Wasn't a cliffhanger to take us forward. Yeah. They kind of close the chapter. Yeah. So where do they go from here? Well, that's it. And you know what? What I like about it, you know, what I, I theorized. Uh, we didn't. I mean, we didn't really talk about it enough. About could it be Luke Skywalker coming? Where you know maybe it was just too obvious. 
And we were like, no, there's no way they're going to do that. There's no way they're going to get Mark Hamill to come in. But but we knew that they, that they were, he had given rights to digitize them. They well. did, yeah. But yeah. obviously, he was like, yeah, I'll do this for you guys. And that's well, super awesome. Thanks, Mark. We appreciate that. Like, that's fanboy's dream right here, you know. Uh, and he must have known that they're going to do it right. Oh, absolutely. No, none of this other... Yeah, I'm sure it was presented to him. This is what's going to happen, and he's like, "Yeah, this is this is like how cool is when he when he force crushed the like how the, powerful is just to crush it because nothing else is destroying that thing, and they're just like, he just crushed it. That was unreal. And I was like, okay, this this is what we wanted to see. This is yeah. a small payoff, and if we can get more Luke in the future, uh, awesome. Uh, but that yeah. that's what you get. That's what you want to see from Luke Tower. <sighs> you want to think it? He is the most powerful Jedi in the universe. Yeah. He is the galaxy, I guess. Well, and because it was alluded to that he had brought down those star destroyers on uh, Jakku. Jakku. Yeah. Like to to have been able to see even flashbacks of him doing stuff like that. Uh, that he is that powerful. Yeah. Like that's what people want to see. That's amazing. Yeah. That's and and you can still amazing. do all your other stories and still yeah. give us the fans what they want. Yeah. You can do your side stories, and they did, and that's what they're doing. Like here. if 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 I never saw another thing of Luke Skywalker again in a show. I would be happy to just... They went out on a high note, at least. Oh. Like a super high note. And you know what? Like, I know we talked about maybe it was going to end on a cliffhanger, and it was going to be doom and gloom, maybe. But you know what? I am completely happy that payoff at the end. With it's like, Grogu's gone with somebody you can trust. We know we trust Luke Skywalker. Well, yeah, you, yeah. We trust Luke Skywalker. And we know that Grogu's going to be taken care of. Now, now the question remains, what, what happens to him? Well, that's what I was thinking yeah. when that was happening, too, is that is he gonna show up in future episodes later on down the road yeah or is he at luke's temple when all that shit goes down with and, kylo ren and yeah like yeah. i'm hoping not but or maybe he's already jedi knight now doing stuff because he's already 50 yeah. right so by the time that rolls around that's yeah, another that, 30 years. that's close to another well probably 20 25 years 25 years yeah yeah, yeah. before yeah. before he goes bananas so he's about 75 then yeah 75 maybe 70, 70. Yeah. so another 20 years of training he's gonna be out there and out and about yeah or maybe he's under another Jedi Master at that point. Well, Who knows? I, I think know. Luke is the only one training anybody right now. Or trying well, to... Well, at this point right now, but 20 years down the road. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know who he was training, right? Yeah. Or like, maybe he, like maybe something else happens with Grogu. We don't know yet. Yeah. But yeah, I was thinking along those lines too, that what, what happens with him, because uh, we know the future a little bit. So like you said, now it kind of closes that chapter. Yeah, so like, where do they go? Now, now you know, like when we were talking about before, about... The possibility of the Mandalorian being the show, the Mandalorian, and it's not just Pedro Pascal's character. It's you got Bo Katan, you have Boba well, Fett. But they, like they said, he's not a Mandalorian. I know. Well, but that they're talking of the old ways, and obviously Boba is probably going to prove himself with going forward. But it's interesting. He was gone. Well, well, like he just took off. Yeah, but they've kind of opened up and they planted seeds a little bit for. Future yeah. stories with that, yeah. the, the way they were talking there. Um, so we'll, I guess we'll see what happens if he pops back up or not, or if yeah. he has his own series down the road, or who knows what. Uh, I know that tomorrow, tomorrow Morrison was already recast to uh, back in the Obi Wan series. Yeah, and he's and coming back as as Commander Cody. Is it Cody or Rex? No, he's coming back as Commander Cody. Commander Cody. He's actually being one of the. He's going to be one of the groups that's sent after and okay. looking to kill Obi Wan. Yeah, because he never removed his chip. No, I don't think Because so. Rex did. Yeah. And so, no, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, like, I don't know. I just, I just think that, you know, now we, we've got a whole year before we're going to see another Mandalorian. Um, and, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I got it. I'm at that moment where I'm like happy, sad, because now the show's over. We got nothing to talk about. Now we're just going to banter over what's going to happen in the future. Well, but it's really open ended now. So no, it's yeah. going to leave a lot of discussion open. Like, we can figure out trying to try and guess because we have no idea now we're really Mandal the mandalorian part's gonna go i think bo katan and and uh cara dune and all those, those characters are into the spinoff for the the rangers the rangers of the new republic um and we got a soka tano series coming up yeah uh so where does the mandalorian go from here uh, uh yeah and I, I think we had discussed earlier that i said that uh if they conclude this portion of it they can go forward and he has it's like, you know, like the old spaghetti westerns like yeah. we talked about he finds a new mission or something else comes right. along and then just points to another direction okay a couple things now 
let's think about this. We got Moff Gideon in custody. He's going to be turned over to the New Republic. Now, what happens there? Does someone bigger, badder than him come looking for him to break him out or whatever? Because he obviously wanted the blood. Where's that blood? Where did that blood go from Go Grogu? Right? Where did that? Where is it? Did he already send it on? Is that blood over to old Sith Eternal Palpatine sitting over in Exegol? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is that is that happened? Well, they're studying it, right? They're, so I think that's what they use going forward. Because they're, yeah. they're, it, even by the time Rise of Skywalker has come along, right? Yeah. They haven't uh, got the cloning perfected no. for cloning uh, for sensitive people. That's right. There, there's mutations and, and, yeah. and things like that. So they're using it to study. So I think that's where they went with it. And yeah. that's probably as far as it's going to go. Yeah. Because he said he had already got the blood. He got what he needed. Yeah. No, they're studying it. Yeah. So, okay, so we've got that part. We don't know what Moff Gideon is. He'd be in jail, possibly. Will he be a factor later on? We don't know. Uh, the other the other thing now, uh, the Darksaber. I mean, Bo-Katan technically doesn't have it. So, you guys, does he rebuild Mandalore? Yeah, or do they fight each other? And Well, if she's doing a spinoff series, it's hard to say. That's kind of an open-ended, what, what, where can you go with the Darksaber now? Like, that's, so he's in possession of it. Unless he just, like you said, if he renounces it and just leaves it somewhere. But that's not the, that's not the history of how you win it, though. No, so, no, but at the same time, if he doesn't want it and he doesn't want to lead, uh, it, we don't know where it's going to go. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a, the thing, like, he, he, like, he wasn't interested in it. He was, wanted to give it, give it up, so I don't think he's interested in being a leader. Um, but at the same time, it ended off, him, helmet off. Kind of becoming more of like the uh, traditional yeah. Mandalorian. So, yeah, so it's possible, right? Um, it's pretty cool, though. I mean, like, yeah, and you can definitely see that there is definitely a huge bond between Grogu and. Oh, for sure. And, it, was, uh, it was an emotional yeah. ending. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just. They did a good job of just beating on your emotions. Oh, uh, yeah. Big the highs, I won't, like I said, I won't call it lows, but it was just like an emotional moment. Yeah. Um, Definitely. There was there was that bonding family fatherly son kind of moment. Mm -hmm. So, it, I think they just pulled off one hell of a great episode. <laughs> yeah. Like everything about everything about the entire episode was really well done. Oh, it was, it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. And uh, Peyton Reed directed it. Did a great job. And he had done the second episode, right? I believe so. Yeah. Which we did not really care for. We no, considered we considered that more of a filler, filler episode. episode yeah. But then he comes back and does this. Us oh, unreal. And wow i mean he directed ant man right so yeah he, you know i mean because i was like when i seen that he did that episode i was expecting so much more from him because he's yeah. he is a talented director and i was like well maybe you know down the road he redeem himself well he was more so, than redeemed himself not to the park that was yeah that, that has to be you know i thought the soka one was my favorite one to this point but th that that episode did for me like it's luke skywalker well, I, don't, I don't know what else you can say. You know, the, the Ahsoka, the Boba Fett, mm -hmm. I honestly didn't think you could top it. Yeah. Like, not that I didn't think you could. I, I know you could. Mm -hmm. And there was one way. And that's what they did. Yeah. You know, we were hoping, I think as fans, oh, yeah. that we would see Luke. Yeah. I was I was hoping the whole season that that would be, like when they talked about a, a Jedi coming. And it was the obvious choice, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like... Are they really going to bring Luke back? Well, that's that's exactly. And I think that was... And we thought maybe it'd just be like showing the boot but, and the lightsaber. But even when the X-Men came in too, it's like, Luke flies an X-Wing. We all know that. Uh, yeah. But it was like, that can't be. I'm like, but I'm like, who else has an X-Wing? <laughs> I mean, like, it's him. It, and then when you could see the belt, and oh, it, was this, yeah. it was just... And then the glove on the hand. It was it was mm -hmm. Luke. And the green lightsaber. But it was like, okay, let's see the hilt and see if it's yeah. really him. But I mean, you made a comment like, oh, he's not fighting like him, but... He's progressed. Yeah, that, and, well, yeah, and he's, for sure. he's become he's so he's become so much more powerful. Yeah, he's fluid, right? And, and he's like, like this is like five years after. So oh, yeah. And he was already powerful at that point, getting more and more powerful. Yeah. Um he's just more in control. Oh yeah. It's, and he showed it. Yeah. He just, it was just like rip through those it dark troopers like butter. It was butter. Like, absolutely it was like, nothing. Like, okay. And that's what we wanted. Oh, least, that more yeah, powerful version of Luke. Just so amazing. And just imagine him another five, ten years down the road. Oh. It would have been I mean the the one that we didn't get to see in The Last Jedi? 
<laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We were supposed to talk about that. Yeah, we were not going to get wound up on that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, so that's that's where it leaves off for this season. It leaves us guessing where they're going to go next season. Uh, the spinoff's coming up. It's They basically laid the groundwork for everything and yeah. where everybody can go and kind of go their separate ways. And That's right. Uh, we don't know... At all, really? Where they're gonna? Well, where are they gonna? And yeah. th- maybe some people will come out, come up with some uh, fan theories. We'd love to hear your fan theories, like because yeah, we I, I personally don't have any any idea where they're really gonna go with it. No. Uh, just some general ideas, but I'm sure people out there probably have some yeah. really strong ideas where they're gonna go with this. And I lo- I'd love to see it. I love to you know because we're gonna do another recap of the season here. That's right. And if you have any you know ideas or thoughts where this is going. Please leave them in the comment section. Yeah, anything at all, and and we can address it, talk about it, see what uh, whatever else is thinking. Yeah, I mean we have our own thoughts and theories, and we've talked a few about them, and we've got a few more. But uh, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna go in through, and 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 I'm gonna watch after this episode. I'm gonna watch people's reactions. I'm gonna go yeah. back and watch other reactors and, and see what their thoughts are and how they react. Oh yeah, because it's exciting. I, I'm excited to see. Fans excited. Yeah, me too. I am so, so stoked about this. It's what we've all been waiting for. So that's the end of the second season of The Mandalorian. We just want to thank you guys for joining in with us on our first reaction series. Uh, we're going to be following it up with our other series here. Uh, we'll be starting off with Cobra Kai yeah. and with WandaVision. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, hear your thoughts, comments on on everything and uh going forward we're just looking forward to uh spending more time with you yes with that emotionally draining last episode and conclusion to the end of the season two we really want to thank you for joining us here and may the force be with you